Hi and welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Rucker Coriace R leather jacket and jeans which is Rucker's latest attempt at reaching the holy grail for motorcycling, a waterproof leather touring suit. Together, the Rucker Coriace R suit will set you back $999.99 for the jacket and $869.99 for the jeans. It's a tall order, but can it live up to that price tag? Let's have a look in more detail. The outer shell of this jacket is made from cowhide, but the difference between a normal suit and this one is that firstly, it's perforated all the way through, and secondly, it's got a corium waterproof membrane bonded behind it. The perforations aid airflow, which helps the breathability, and then there's the breathability itself of the membrane behind. They say it's only just behind a waterproof textile suit for breathability, and they've brought out some lab testing that shows their results based on heating up mannequins and introducing moisture to see how quickly it can breathe. If I unzip the main jacket, you'll see the corium material behind it, which is in here zipped together with a colour-coded zip so that even an idiot can get it right. I've still got it wrong a couple of times. Then there's an extra dam across here to protect that zip. This is the waterproof material. Combine the two together and you've got the protection from the rain. The leather material backed with the corium makes up the vast majority of the whole suit. There are areas to aid flexibility. You've got a stretch cordura type material inside the elbows inside the forearm and you've also got that down the torso here with some zip up sections, flared out sections that create a bit of extra room for riding. Quite flexible, those sections do, do help and then there's also the accordion stretch panels which we've got above the elbow and at the lower back but I'd say this is much more a touring jacket than a sporty jacket. It's not going to be for those people who want to be flexing, moving around all over the bike. This is, this is aimed at the touring market. Keeping up the touring credentials of the Coriace are the cuffs, which unzip and open really wide to get them over your glove cuff. If you're the sort of person who wants your gloves inside, which is the most sensible option when you're looking at waterproofing so that the water runs down and away from the glove rather than inside it, then this is perfect. There's plenty of room in there to get a glove inside. If you're the opposite, like lots of people are, and they want their gloves outside the jacket cuff, it's not so good. It's a, there's quite a lot of room in here, even when it's zipped up around, around the wrist, and it's hard to get a glove over the top. Practicality-wise, continuing the touring line, the jacket has two external zips, one at each hip, and Rucker claim they're waterproof. I can't argue with that after a few hundred miles on the road, ridden in the rain, and the contents of those have stayed dry. There's also a removable, I've removed it because it's a bit hot today, um, neoprene collar that zips onto the jacket and sits around here. Not really my cup of tea, but some people will find that quite useful. So that's the outside dealt with. Let's have a look on the inside. Full width connection zip to attach to the matching jeans. You've got the mesh liner to separate the membrane from your skin. Internally, there's one pocket in the main shell, which is the Napoleon pocket here. The additional internal pocket comes in the thermal liner, which is removable and it's a bit warm today, so I've taken that out. There's no other internal pocket within the main shell. Protection wise, in terms of impact, there's D3O level one armor at the elbows, at the shoulders, and there's also a full back protector to the same level, level one, included in the back as standard. That covers the jacket. Much of the story remains the same for the jeans, which are made from the same leather with the same corium membrane bonded to the outside. You've also got the stretch zones just above the knees and at the waist, as well as you've got uh, stretch fabric behind the knees themselves. Much like the cuffs on the jacket go over gloves, the base of the jeans go over your boots. Now, the absolute widest sport boots, you might have a problem. The Alpine Stars SMX 5s that I'm wearing under these have given it a bit of a stretch, but I would say most touring boots, other than big adventure boots, are going to fit underneath there. Again, if you're the sort of person who wants to wear your trousers inside your boots, 
you're going to have a bit of an issue with these. They're really designed to go over. So I'd be looking at other leather trousers if you want them inside. Impact protection wise, you've got CE level one D3O armor at the knees and also protection at the hips. So you're covered on both scores that you can have in the jeans. I've done more than 600 miles in this suit now in all weathers from rain through to 30 degrees and sunshine beating down and it's coped with it all. If there's anything you'd like to know about the Rucker Coriace R that we haven't covered in this video, pop a question in the comments below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks for watching.